Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel it. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The moth's died. Mrs. Barr used to enjoy house. Tiger claws killed one girl too many. So people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm familiar with the story. Things did not go that smoothly. I didn't say they did. Didn't say they would. But Evie thought Clouds would be safe. You saw how far that got. How she ended. V. I can't stand by and let things go on like this. I'm sure you've thought this through, Judy. Carefully. I haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mobs didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone in Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it to me. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Evelyn, Michael, you seem to know your way around clouds. He used to work there. Helped him out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Sure Michael's gonna want to join forces. If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out of Mega Tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Michael? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it.
Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Looks like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have. On occasion. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never failed to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. Call me a murderer? You're right. I killed Woodman. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And if I'd known what he did to Evelyn when she needed help, I wouldn't have gone so easy on him. Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. 
Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. You know what I think? She's scared stiff. She'd have lots to lose if things went sour. Everything, in fact. So she'll just let things go on as usual? You have a history. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. The line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No, me and the deck chairs, me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. the ground floor to get out of this place. I really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Second you react with your dick, steady your head, you give them exactly what they want. Does it look like I give a shit? Doesn't matter. They already flushed one down your brain.
Gotta get back to Maiko with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Maiko only works with specifics. For a minute there, I thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Maiko's empathy. <laughs> Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks.